What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got the truck entirely painted last video. You definitely need to go check that out. If you missed that video, full Raptor liner everywhere. We did the entire truck. So here it is. Turned out really good. Really liking the texture, how it laid out. And I went, I went far. I went and did everything. I did the whole door jams, the doors, everything that is visible. We still got to get the bed inside of the bed lined. Um, I'm just going to do that black. I'm still waiting for my bed liner to show up for that. But the rest of the truck turned out really good. Really happy with how it looks. So what I want to get started with today is I got to pull these doors off and rebuild these hinges. You can see they are really loose. Doors flopping around. So we're going to pull both doors off. I got hinge rebuild kits for those, and they actually don't make a kit for the Toyota, but I did find another kit that works really good on them. So this is the kit I used on my last truck. It's a Dorman part, part number 38397. These will be linked in the description if you wanna check them out. They're pretty cheap, the whole kit was like 20 bucks. So let's get these doors pulled off, get those hinges rebuilt, and then I wanna start getting some of the interior back together. We can get these whole back panels back on and I guess we could probably start throwing windows back in since the stuff is dried up enough. It's not fully cured yet. It takes like seven days to fully cure. It's been about three. So I'm going to go through and we could probably start putting the doors back together, get some windows in, get the gaskets and everything around the doors and all that. So let's get started with ripping these doors off. All right, we got these hinges off. So what we got to do is cut the heads off of these pins because these are actually kind of a kind of a rivet pin. So we got to cut the heads off, pound that pin out, pound the bushings out, and then we can replace the bushings. And it should be pretty easy. There it is guys, pins in, nice and smooth and tight. You can see the only difference really is the pin sticks out a little more on the top and bottom. It's a little bit longer and the head on the top is a little bit taller, but it still doesn't get in the way of the bolts. So that will be just fine. So I'm gonna get the other ones busted out. Then we can throw the doors on. We'll throw the latches on and we can get these all aligned.
There we go, got the doors back on. So the reason I pulled the fenders off, it is so much easier to align these doors with the fenders off. You can get to these bolts on the hinges. So got these all aligned and everything closes really nice. There's the, uh, there's the gap. So really not that bad from you know where the damage was here. There's, you can see a little bit more of a gap there, but not really worried about it. It looks a thousand times better. So I'm very, very happy with this bodywork, how that turned out. See the cab up there? You'll never know anything was done to that. And then the bed back here looks really nice. So very happy with the bodywork. Happy these doors close. Hinges are nice and tight. So let's go get the fenders back on. And then I got this big pile of all my seals, windows, and everything I want to get cleaned up. So I'll probably peel some of this tint off. I'm gonna have it retinted. That's all blue and kind of falling apart. So scrape the tint off, get all these seals cleaned up, and then we can start getting the interior back together. All right guys, fenders are on, everything's all aligned, looks pretty good. So I actually decided I'm just gonna bolt the bed back on the truck. It's really not that hard to mask, just drape plastic over the truck. So let's get this bed all bolted back on.
All right guys, got this thing mostly back together. This whole door is good other than I'm waiting for my mirrors, but the entire door's together and working good. So a lot of you guys actually asked if the Raptor liner is gonna interfere with like the doors and the seals and gaskets and everything. This stuff really isn't that thick. I mean, they still shut just fine. The seals, I masked uh, kind of back from the actual seal area. So those are gonna seal just fine. So really there shouldn't be any issues at all. So this side, I'm waiting for a door handle because I bought some aftermarket ones and they do not work at all. So I'm waiting for a door handle to get that in. Um, what I'm gonna show you guys is how to get the rear window set. So here's the window. What I've always done to install these is wrap some string around this valley where it uh, actually sits in the truck, in the cab, and then you can set the window into the cab pull the string out and it'll fold this lip over the edge when you pull the string out. So I've always had a helper, but I've always, I usually do the solid glass window. This one's gonna keep the slider. So I think I should be able to get it by myself. I can reach through the actual window. So let's wrap some string around it and see if we can get this thing by myself. There we go, that actually went really easy. Worked out really good, I was able to get through the window. So, window is good. So, that's about as far as we're gonna be able to get right now. I'm still waiting, like I said, for the mirrors, the door handle, and actually carpet as well. So, I don't wanna put this whole interior together because the carpet tucks up underneath all these side panels and everything. So, I'm gonna leave the interior right there until we get the carpet in and then we can throw it all together. And I still gotta figure out what seats I wanna do. I really don't like these 60-40 seats. I like to find a set of buckets for it, so I'll search around a little bit and see if I can find some seats. But other than that, we're pretty close to uh, being done with it. So like I said, we're still waiting for that Raptor liner, the black Raptor for the inside of the bed. So once we get that, We'll be able to spray that out and get that 100% done. So I'm gonna cut this video here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Truck's coming along good, looking like a truck again, getting mostly back together. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. I should have that Raptor liner in for the bed and we can get that all sprayed out. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.